It's small, fast, and intimidating. This is Dover Motor Speedway. Welcome to the Trunk Fresh 400 from Dover, Delaware. Before we get to the race, we have some updates. The first is that we added two races to the schedule. Next week we are racing in Kansas and on August 9th we are racing at Rockingham. Not only that, we added two more spots in the playoffs and added Atlanta, Watkins Glen, and Bristol to the playoffs. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, last week's winner Steve LePage and Cal Weathers starting in the front. In row two, Lightning McQueen and Brandon Powercar, who was so close to getting his first career win. Hopefully, he goes to victory lane today. In row three, Daniel Swerves and J.D. McPillar, who went upside down at Talladega last week, so he's ready to race. In row four, Jackson Storm and Phil Tankson. In row five, Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain in those two Star Wars The Bad Batch paint teams for the final time. In row 6, Cruiser Miris and Chase race a lot. In row 7, Bubba Wheelhouse and Ryan Laney. In row 8, Brian Spark and Bobby Swift, the points leader. And in row 9 is H.J. Hollis. Here's the race format. 20 laps, 20 miles around the 1 mile track and pit road speed is 35 miles per hour. The pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits. Well, it's already gone from the screen anyways. Here we go for 20 miles and 20 laps around the monster mile. The green flag is in the air here at Dover Motor Speedway. Mike McQueen already trying to charge against Cal Weather is one of his teammates, and Steve LePage, last week's winner at Talladega. Lightning McQueen is pushing forward. And Lightning McQueen leads the first lap. Daniel Swerve has won a piece of that action against Steve LePage. Including Cal Wetters. Whoa, he got a bit loose. Mike McQueen leads the first two laps. Cal Weathers trying to go to, against the 019 of Daniel Suarez. Also, Daniel Suarez has a new look. It's just his numbers have changed because of visual confusion between the viewers. So, you could thank me for that. Master Dragon 4000 drafting with the number 20 of Jackson Storm. Including the 42 and 019. I wonder if the 41 of Master Dragon 4000 could get you know, another win. I guess he won in the, the same paint scheme at Atlanta back in February. <clears throat> but Atlanta and Dover are two different tracks. Atlanta used to be a short track before 1997, but instead, Atlanta is like a 1.54 mile track. Here's my board, Cruising Mirrors. There goes Jack the Storm all the way to the outside. Master Dragon 4000 got a bit loose. And he's still hugging that inside lane. Along with Cruiser Muris and his teammate Colin Bargain and the others. Oh, there's an intense battle in the back. But the camera just moved in front of the leaders against Daniel Suarez and Cal Weathers. Lightning McQueen is dominating this race. Battle for the back. Bobby Swift, JD McPillar, Steve LePage, and Ryan Laney. Steve LePage, what's going on with him? He was doing good earlier in qualifying, like days ago, but now he's dropped all the way to the back. Chase Race Live going against the Lieutenant of Colin Bargain. Brandon Power Car making some really fast timing, even though he's not up in the front. Cruz Amir is trying to 
to battle against the 41 Master Dragon 4000. And Brian Spark also wants a piece of that action. Light McQueen still up on the front. Daniel Suarez and Cal Weathers always like going into two lanes whenever they're entering the turns. Meanwhile, they're creating a single file line once they're going through the straightaways. Anyways, get ready for the halfway jam. on the leaders Daniel Suarez is trying to pass the number 95 Light McQueen but instead Light McQueen is just holding the both off Cowboy is still trying to pass the 019 oh if they spun out that would have been a disaster they could have caused the big one in the front straight away we had the big one already at Talladega last week there goes Brian Spark passing the 41 Master Dragon 4000 and possibly going against number 20. And he passes the number 20. Let's see if the 20 gets help from the 41. He, and he does. Here we go with 7 laps to go. Light McQueen still dominating this race. Brian Spark has gone up to 4th place. There's a chance that Brian Spark could zoom all the way to Light McQueen and win this race. The, the 42 of Cal Wetters looks like he's driving terribly right now. The other is a. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a uh, good or bad. Here we go! Five laps to go here at the Monster Mile. Steve LePage dropped all the way to last place. He's having a terrible day. He performs better in his next race. It will not be at Kansas because um, he has a different race contract. Side by side for third place. With four laps to go, Brian Spark versus Cal Weathers. Brian Spark takes third place. Brian Spark going after the 019 of Daniel Suarez and the 95 of Light McQueen. Here they go, drafting through the front straight away with three laps to go. Ryan Spark takes second place. His big target is the number 95 of Light McQueen. I'm not sure if he could touch Light McQueen's dominance. With two laps to go, two miles remaining. The 52 of Brian Spark trying to get in the right place so he goes to draft in number 95 and eventually pass him. Chase Rice a lot is the only one in the inside as I'm speaking. Now here we go. White flag. One more time around here at Dover Murder Speedway. Light McQueen has struggled all week. Now with half a mile to go. Now entering turn 3 and gonna exit turn 4 for the final time. Lightning McQueen is gonna win at Dover Murder Speedway. Second place Brian Spark and third Daniel Suarez. Congratulations to Lightning McQueen for winning the Trunk Fresh 400. Brian Spark was so close on catching up to number 95 but he didn't have that speed to get up in the front all week long.
Here are the official results. Brandon Power Car is the fastest car today, and we have some unfortunate news. Ryan Spark has been disqualified due to him having an L1 penalty for not meeting the weight requirements, so he'll be fined 10 playoff points and a $25,000 fine. Next week is the Danico 400, which was at Motor Speedway of the South, but now its new home is at Kansas Speedway, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and see you at Kansas City. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27, signing out.